Hi, my name is Chris and I'm from Acute Data Systems and welcome to the Sage 100 tutorial. In today's topic, we'll be talking about how to create a master purchase order, how to create a standard order against that master order, and how to review the orders that we've created. So let's say you plan on buying a large quantity of items from a vendor over a period of time. Well, then you might want to create something called a master order or a blanket order. In order to do so, you want to go into your purchase order module, you want to go into your main, and go into your purchase order entry. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this icon right here to give me the next order number. And for the order type, I want to choose master order. Now I'm going to choose the vendor. Let's say it's Daniel Adams. And I'm going to go into my lines tab. Now for the item code, you want to choose the item that you're going to be buying a large quantity of. So let's say I plan on buying these three quarter screws uh, over the period of three months. So let's say I want to buy a hundred of them. I'm going to enter that in and the extension amount comes in. So I'm going to click accept here and we see our totals including the tax. So I'm going to click accept and what we've done was we've created a template for our standard orders and so now what we want to do is we want to create a standard order against that master order. So you want to stay on this task and you want to click on this icon right here to get you the next order number and what you want to do is you want to choose standard order as the order type so I'm just going to leave it as that and the next thing you want to do is you want to choose the master order that you created so I created a master order for Daniel Adams and everything looks good so I'm going to move on to my lines tab and we see that uh, the screws come in and we see the amount that we've set to order. So we set it to 100, but let's say for the first month, um, you wanna only just order 20 out of those 100. So I'm gonna fill in 20 and we see the extension amount change. And I'm just gonna click accept. Again, here are our totals. I'm gonna click here. Now what you want to do is you want to go back and check your master order. So if you look it up, uh, we had it under Daniel Adams. We see that the last purchase order number come in and the last purchase order date also come in. So we know that our standard order that we've created went through. And we can check that also by going into our lines tab. And we see that uh, the original quantity was 100 and now our balance is 80 because we ordered 20 from earlier. So it all looks good. I'm gonna click accept. And that's how you create a master purchase order and uh, standard orders against that master order. If you have any questions or suggestions, then leave us a comment or contact us for more information. Thank you for watching.